Here they come. They're off. There goes Riyadh from the center of the track out with Oive down toward the inside Jaguar Cam, moving through Ombro Operative. Then it's Iho Silverheels who gets away in fifth. John Street North is sixth. Then it's Hot Lead, followed by Misfit. And Racing Fun is the early trailer. As they move around the first turn, Oive is on top, but there goes Riyadh and Jack Moisev right to the front. Oive now back to second. Jaguar Cam is third. Racing in fourth now on the outside. Here comes High Ho Silver Heels with an early move. Riyadh leads it. High Ho up on the outside. After Riyadh, Oive is back there in third. A length and a half to Jaguar Cam. Another two lengths. Ombro Operative is now racing in fifth. In sixth is John Street North, followed by Hot Lead. The trailers are misfit in racing fun. 29 and 1. Soft quarter there for High Ho Silver Heels. Riyadh sitting in there. Second, Oive third. Jaguar Cam is fourth to the outside. John Street North. Hot Lead follows John Street. Armbar Operative is locked in there. Trailers on the outside. Misfit in racing fun. 58 seconds for the half. High Ho Silver Heels leads it a length and a half. Riyadh sits right there with Oive third. Up on the outside, John Street North. Jaguar Cam back to fifth, covered up hot lead. Third over is Misfit. Then it's Armbro Operative and Racing Fund. They move over toward the three quarters. Hi Ho Silver Hills continues to lead the way. Riyadh sits right there. John Street North on the outside. Oive now locked in fourth. Hot lead covered in fifth. Three quarters, 127 and one. They move to the back stretch. Hi Ho Silver Hills and Riyadh. Two back to Oive. John Street North the outside. They're midway up the back stretch. Hi Ho Silver Hills. A length and a half followed by Riyadh. Oive moves through to be third. On the outside, John Street North. Hot lead going to get forced three wide. They go past the mile marker in 150. Not posted at this time. Midway, final turn. Hi Ho Silver Heels. Riyadh right there. Two or three to Oive. Then it's John Street North who dropped to the rail at the top of the stretch. It continues to be Hi Ho Silver Heels. Hi Ho leads it with Peter Wren. Riyadh moves to the outside. They drive the wire. Hi Ho. Hi Ho Silver Heels in front. Riyadh going to be second best. Way back. Oive third. 222. World record. It's official entering the winner's circle number four, High Ho Silver Heels. Six year old bay horse by Walton Hanover, owned by R.R. Moorfield Corporation, along with MP and MK Smith. Trained and driven to victory by Peter Wren. The time world record, two minutes, 22 seconds flat. In the winner's circle, making a presentation, along with Mar Bachrod, Dover Downs track president, Dennis McGlynn. Exact of 4 1 11 60. Try 4 1 3 84 60. Official order of finish for the pacing classic. One, John Street North was seventh. One, A. Riyadh second. Two, Jaguar Cam was eighth. Three, Oive third. Four, High Ho Silver Heels the winner. Five, Hot Lit fifth. Six, Misfit ninth. Seven, Racing Fun was sixth. Eight, Armor Operative fourth. Top down seven, two, eight. Three, one, five, nine, six, four. Upcoming tenth race, no changes. Post time in 13 minutes at 4.08. I'd like to just get a word or two from Peter Wren. For two straight weeks, this has been the number one horse in harness racing, and certainly with a name like High Ho Silver Heels, Peter Wren has had a, a lot of fun with that. Yeah, I sure have. He's a real good horse, and I think he's just starting to prove himself, and uh, he's got quite a future ahead of him. 
Insofar as this race is concerned, going a mile and a quarter, first time for this horse, in fact, all the horses here, first time that they've had to go that extra distance. Well, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, he's a real, you know, easy-going horse, and things are usually good for him at the end of the mile. So I didn't know going in how the race would set up, but I didn't think the mile and a quarter would hurt him that well. With uh, Riyadh right on your back for most of the race there, were you kind of apprehensive turning down the lane? Yes, I was. You know, a horse, anytime Riyadh's close to you, you got to watch out. This was a, a tremendous field. It must give you a lot of pride that uh, your horse can uh, get the job done. Yeah, you know, it's a good group of horses, great group of horses. So, you know, things, are, things aren't always going to go that smooth, but uh, it's a very competitive group of horses, and it should be quite a series to watch. One person I'd like to bring in, uh, the gentleman there with the black hat is... Uh, Roy uh, Moorfield, he's one of the owners, uh, along with this gentleman, Milam Smith, used to be a stuntman in Hollywood. His best friend was Jay Silverheels. You may remember him as Tonto on the Lone Ranger TV show, and this has got to be a great tribute to him and to you as well. One of the happiest moments of my life right here. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, he, he paid as a yearling $1,875 for High Ho Silver Hills. He's made you back a little more than that, hasn't he? Just a little bit. I He's on the, ver on the verge of becoming a millionaire himself. Yes, he's getting quite close, and I hope he makes it. And one word from you, uh, Roy. I guess it's nice to have an association like this. You're a construction man out in California. Uh, you're doing a lot of building with this. It's beautiful, beautiful. And Pete does a good job. Yes, sir. Peter Wren, Roy Moorfield, and Milam Smith, and of course the people from the Pacing Classic and Dennis McGlynn from Dover Downs. Thank you for being with us.